Hey guys, it's Winchurchy here back again with another Minecraft Redstone tutorial video and today guys I want to be talking about a little design I've made myself on the combination lock and what I've gone ahead and done is made a combination lock with five levers and yeah if I can go ahead and show you guys if I flip all of these it will not activate you have to put in the special code otherwise it will not activate so my code I have designed for this one is the first one down well the first two down and the middle one down in between those two and that will open my combination lock okay it's very very simple to build guys and I'm gonna be going over it for you so you guys can learn how it's built it's very very easy and I believe like you guys can make some really awesome combination locks this is completely expandable so you guys can actually make this very very large if you really wanted to all right so what you're going to need guys is you're going to need a redstone torch you're going to need some redstone repeaters you're going to need as many levers as you would like for this build you're going to also want some redstone dust followed by a well you could use your sticky pistons if you want this to lead up into a door and also you're going to want to have your blocks that you want to build with for this i'm going to use lime wool and also i'm going to be using gray wool for my decoration now i do not think i'm missing anything so let's get straight into it let's go ahead and just build this uh just just we'll, we'll do it like right over here so first thing you want to do guys is set up your wall for your levers so i'm going to set the system up for five levers you guys can do this however wide you want depending on however ma many levers you want you want to build this three high and you can place your levers in between each one like this i'm just going to go ahead and add one more right here so this is the part where you choose what your combination lock wants to be you can have one down here one down here and one down here or you could have the system i had where you had the first two down the middle one down you could have the last one down and these two down you know it's really up to you for for the purposes of this tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and do uh the, the one i said before i'm just going to have these two middle ones flipped just like this now for the ones that are flipped guys you want to go ahead and place redstone torches behind them now what this will do it will do, it will deactivate the torch see this one's activated this one is behind the the one that is switched up you want to place it on the ones that are switched down just right there um so this one switched down so you want to go ahead and get your wiring dust and what you want to do well you can place it on all of them if you really want to but you just it, it it can be smaller if you want it to be just like this you can just go ahead and place levers coming out of it uh register repeaters and things but this will always be in the off state it really depends what you want to do but I'm going to copy it exactly to how I built it. So I'm going to go ahead and place torches on every single one. So I know what I've done. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and place blocks in front. With, followed by a strip going above them. Just like this. Alright. On these blocks right here you want to place redstone repeaters on one tick delay. So you just leave it as it is. And then on these ones right here you're going to be placing the torches on the ones that are deactivated. So these ones right here are deactivated. So you want to place it on these ones right here. So, I mean, I'm oh, sorry, the ones that are activated are the ones you want to place it on. So the ones that are going to be your actual key itself, you want to be deactivated. So you want them to always be in the off state. So then what you want to do is you want to just chuck down a few redstone pieces here with a repeater on the end, followed by a stream of redstone dust. Now, on the ones that aren't connected, you can simply connect these up just by wiring redstone dust, just like that like I have over there now this will work now so if I go ahead and deactivate my two switches that will do it the system will always be activated it will always be activated no matter what levers you switch unless you go ahead and switch the ones that are powering the redstone torches these ones right here um, anyway with all of that all said and done we can go ahead and wire this all up to our vault door now we're gonna just make a very very basic 2 by 2 piston uh, piston door so it's, it's very 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 basic uh, you just want to go ahead and just oop, you want to just place the blocks right here like this and then you just want to extend this outwards and bring it into this block right here place a block on top with some well you can have these gray blocks if you want to um, this will all be covered up anyway so it doesn't really matter and then you can just follow redstone dust going all along the tops of these with a repeater going in and some redstone dust so it's currently obviously activated with this if i go ahead and deactivate it the doors will close and then if i activate it with the same code again it will open up nicely i think that's quite a nice little build i think it's nice and clean and you can go ahead and cover this up very very nicely 
uh, so it does cover up all of the redstone. It's very, very easy, and yeah, uh, I hope some of you guys go ahead and build this in your worlds. I think it's a very, very easy design, and I think it looks really great. Um, it's very, very compact in terms of the fact that, well, it's it's not difficult at all, and it's very, very like it's very clumped together, which I I quite like in redstone. You keep it nice and minimal, and yeah, it's it's a very, very easy build, and I hope to see some of you guys building this in your worlds. I I, I really hope to come in some of your games sometimes and see this in your worlds because I think having a nice little vault door in adventure mode maybe so people can't break it would be really awesome and behind you, you could have your chests, diamonds, you know, all sorts of stuff. But yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.